So this is Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. This is a very tricky game to get to run. Perfectly, anyway. But I'm going to show you how to cut past the trial and error and get it to run 100% speed on the Rage Edge Pro. I got pretty far in this, but I never did beat this game. Or play it when I had it on PS3. But it's much different playing it portably. You find that you'll play games that you usually wouldn't play. Like this game, I, I didn't really mess with. Had it on PS3 for a long time. And played the first level. Kind of dropped it because when I was on PS3, I was sticking to only certain games. But you know what? I'm glad I didn't play it because this was a great experience so far in this game. Anyway, enough of that. Alright, so it's running at a smooth 60 frames per second, and it's not just because I'm in this room, so I'm going to leave. And I got pretty far in this game. Let's see if I can get to some action real quick. This game is so great. I've got so many big bosses and so much to do. Anyway, as you can see, here I am in hell. Where there's a lot of graphical things happening at the same time. So this would be the slowest you'll see. Which is still 60 frames per second. And uh, how did I get it this way? Very simple. Go to configuration. Let me move this closer to the screen. Well, nothing to do with gamma. I clicked on that by accident. Okay. So, when you go to advanced settings. I want to follow my settings exactly. I'm basically a 720p. I try to run everything in 720p just in case the resolution has a big impact on uh, the performance. Uh, make sure VSync is on. I have this deactivated because I like everything looking sharp, but you know, to each its own. I don't know that this is going to be a significant impact on the performance. And you know how I love motion blur in games, so I have motion blur on. Not necessary, but it looks so much smoother. Uh, the texture you can leave on high. Take down the shadows, the depth of field, the particle quality. Take those down to medium. You don't want shadows to be low because uh, everything looks like crap. So, And uh, I had a high definition texture pack enabled. And for some reason with that enabled, everything even on max settings or lowest settings is still laggy. I don't think it's necessary to have the high resolution uh, thing on considering it's already high resolution now that's just some remaster thing that they released some patch where texture is supposed to look better or something honestly for me it doesn't make much of a difference um, I've looked at both and it doesn't make any difference to me at all anyway you can see it's a solid 60 frames per second no matter where I'm at and uh, this is like I said the most uh, stuff going on in the graphics in this level than any other area with the particles and the falling stuff and all that. Oh, I'm out of the sword. Oh, well. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys how the gameplay is. And uh, Again, if you have a particular game you want to request to see a gameplay of, leave a comment and I'm happy to oblige if I have the game. Right now I was just bored so I figured I made a few videos. This is not something that was requested or anything. So this is the kind of stuff I play on my three and two, three, four hour uh, train rides. Play this stuff. Alright guys.